Now that you know how to use the fundamental rule of proportions to solve a proportion, we have to learn about direct proportions. The rule of direct proportions is that more means more or less means less. What does that mean? We'll learn it by looking at these two examples. In this example, we see that for every three students, we need a computer, but we have 81 students. And we look at the situation and we use our common sense to say, if we have more students, we would need more computers. More means more, that means it's a direct proportion. Let's look at another example. The recipe says six cups cereal for every five cups of marshmallows, but we only have three cups of cereal. If we're cooking with this recipe, then we have to modify it because we don't have enough cereal to make the full amount. We have less cereal than the recipe calls, calls for, so therefore we will be needing less marshmallows. That means it's a direct proportion because less means less. How do you solve a direct proportion? Here's the first rule. Put the two numbers with the same unit together on the left, smaller on top. What that means is we find the two numbers that are given in the problem that have the same unit. In this problem, that is the three students and the 81 students. The unit is students. We put those two numbers together with the smaller one on top. Then we put an equal sign and we put a line for our other fraction. The next thing to do, the remaining number is kept together with one of the first two numbers. What does this mean? The remaining number in this problem is not noticeable at first, but you have to realize that a computer means one computer. So the other number besides the 3 and the 81 is 1. And that one computer goes with three students based on the logic of the problem. If it goes with the 3, then we put it together with the 3, which in this case means on top with the 3. Our x goes in the last remaining space. Let's do it here. We have 6 cups cereal, 5 cups marshmallows, and 3 cups cereal. The two numbers with the same unit are the 6 cups of cereal and the 3 cups of cereal. So we put them together with the smaller one on top. The remaining number is the 5 cups of marshmallows, and that goes with the 6 cups of cereal in the recipe. So we want to put the 5 together with the 6. Since the 6 is on the bottom, we put the 5 on the bottom too, and our x is in the last remaining position. If we use the fundamental rule of proportions to solve this, we find out that we need 27 computers if we have 81 students, and that answer makes sense. If we use the fundamental rule to solve this one, 6x equals 3 times 5, 6x equals 15, divide both sides by 6, x is equal to 2.5. And that makes sense as well. If we only have 3 cups of cereal, then we only need 2.5 cups of marshmallows. This is how you do a direct proportion. First you analyze the situation to see if you have a more means more or less means less situation. That means it's direct. So you follow these instructions. Put the two numbers with the same unit together on the left, smaller one on top. And then put the remaining number together with the number that it goes with uh, by the logic of the problem. Put the x in the last remaining place and you will always get your direct proportions correct. Now that you know how to solve direct proportions, use the exercise sheet to practice what you've learned, and then use the answer sheet to correct your own work.